Live from New York City, it's the Wendy Williams Show. Today, Honey Boo Boo canceled. Wendy's got the shocking details of the Mama June scandal that got the show yanked from the air. And friends say Tori Spelling is having a nervous breakdown. What's real? What's for the cameras? What does Wendy think? We've got the inside scoop. Plus, real-life hot topic Gina Neely heats up the Wendy kitchen with a delicious fall recipe and talk of her new single life. Now, here's Wendy! to share let's get started it's time for hot topics As you can see, things are really heating up here at Wendy. You know, all month long, we're celebrating the big Vegas style, Vegas ostrity, um, if that's a word. Anyway, we're doing it big Vegas style. I'm hosting uh, the Soul Train Awards this year, and they're in Vegas. And so, I'm really excited that we're going to be giving away trips for you to join me in Vegas, starting today. Yeah. <laughs> Starting today and all week, lucky members of our studio audience will be winning round trip airfare and hotel accommodations. For you and a friend, VIP tickets to the Soul Train Awards and all that. So good luck to everyone in the audience. And you at home, we haven't left you out. Your chance to win is, yeah, on my Facebook page for all the details, okay? So sign up, people at home, thank you. I had a, uh, a very busy weekend. I went to LA and I was the keynote speaker at the Ultimate Women's Expo. It was really, really wonderful. There were a couple thousand women there, it was great. Then um, I had a little downtime. The pool was beautiful, but I didn't have a bathing suit, so I wore my slip in the pool. <laughs> Somebody said I photoshopped my butt. No, I didn't. Water makes everything look bigger. <laughs> I also went to this place, mm, and I had healthy soul food, if there's such a thing. It's called, well, there's my plate. And th no, but the shrimp and grits hadn't been delivered yet. Uh, at this place on Pico called My Two Cents. Mm, thank you so much for the good food. And then I returned to Jersey, where Giordano's pizza that I ordered from Chicago was at the house waiting. So. <laughs> I love my food. So I was busy, I didn't get a chance to see Iggy Azalea do Saturday Night Live. Did you? Did you watch? How was she? Eh. <laughs> Clap if you thought she was amazing. Okay. Well, she performed Black Widow with Rita Ora and um, a very sexy dance there that they're doing with one another. Um, Iggy also reportedly showed up to SNL with a reported entourage of 60 people. See, to me, when you're new, that's a reason never to invite you back. You know what I mean? I mean, the audience at Saturday Night Live itself only holds like 100 people. You know, it's like the size of our audience. You know, it's like 100 people. And, um, and Iggy was performing, so no word on whether she brought a bunch of people who sat in the audience and were backstage or just backstage. Either way, why'd you bring so many people? Like. <laughs> You know, and at NBC, I've never been to SNL, but I know that like the, the backstage area and the dressing rooms, everything is really, really small. And she's brand new on the music scene. Maybe she's trying to please her old friends or, you know, big time them, you know, like, yes, I'm a big star now, so come on, come on. 
in this room, there's no room to, in this business, there's really no room to bring your friends along and stuff like that. Like, like to me, if, if they're not part of business, helping you make your money or whatever, then leave your friends for Saturdays when you're at home. <laughs> I remember, <clears throat> I remember earlier in my radio career when I was a young, you know, 20 something and single and running around New York with a, you know, a, with a hot radio career, um, I used to occasionally bring friends with me and it, you know, hosting parties or doing big events and stuff. And it would always end up disastrous, you know, cause my friends aren't, they're not in entertainment. They're like, you know, nurses and school teachers and housewives and think, you know, secretaries and stuff. So, you know, you bring them out, all of a sudden they see a celebrity across the room. Next thing I'm like, well, where is Jane? <laughs> And I'm looking over there and, and Jane is posted up with, you know, said rapper. And when, <laughs> when, when my appearance is over and it's time for me to leave the club or whatever, she's still over there with him. And I'm like, okay, well then I'm leaving. And this will never happen again. You know. Then you have the friends that get too drunk or the friends that, you know, latch on to other celebrities. Next thing you know, they're friends with everybody and they're no longer friends with you. It's just best to leave your friends in Jersey and then you go do your business, you know? I was so shocked about this Honey Boo Boo news. I was ready to cancel the whole weekend so I could be here to talk to you. Um, Honey Boo Boo's uh, show is now canceled. T you know, you might have known. Did you know? Did you know this story? Did you hear this whole story? Yeah. All right, because the first thing that came out is that Mama June um, is being accused of uh, getting back together with an old boyfriend who allegedly abused her oldest daughter Anna. Here's Anna right here with the baby, and this allegedly happened back when Anna was eight years old. You know, then the man, the alleged abuser, just got out of jail for doing some abusing, allegedly. Not, not for Anna, but I guess for others. So he just got out of jail, which they're saying is the source of why Sugar Bear and Mama June are headed for divorce. Because when, yeah, like June, I guess, was never over this guy. No word on whether he knew what allegedly happened, to, whether she knew what allegedly happened to Anna or not. But to me, it's like when your kids say something, you're supposed to believe what they say, especially in terms of something like that. The, the story gets even worse. Mama June posted a video denying the allegations. Notice how she's not looking us in the eye as she talks. Go ahead. The statement of me dating a sex offender is totally untrue. I would not ever, ever, ever put my my kids in danger. Um, I love my kids too much. That is my past. I have not seen that person in 10 years and don't seem to want to see that person. Okay, notice how she said that was her past and that she hasn't seen that person in 10 years. But what did I just tell you he's been doing for the last 10 years? He's been locked up. So, Mama June, um, Mama June, I hate to question what you're saying, but that's what I, my, my job is. So if it's true that you haven't seen him in 10 years and that was your past, then what do you, how do you explain this picture of you, the man, and, and Honey Boo Boo? That's Honey Boo Boo, right? And if you're wondering why it is that the floor looks so vacuumed and there's no pa pictures, it's because this is them looking for a house. See, cause Sugar Bear moved on Mama June's moved on. Allegedly, this man is allegedly supposed to be looking for the house with Mama June. And allegedly, Mama June also bought this man a used car. And, and so there's Honey Boo Boo, who's only nine years old. Mama June, this is really less than smart. And you know what? Thank you, TLC, for having some sort of integrity. Because I have to say, you know, I have to say, the Honey Boo Boo Show happens to be TLC's cash cow. And they didn't waste any time. It was like 72 hours and they put out the press release saying the show is officially canceled. It's so canceled that they literally have a full season to play that you, we will never see. So they were willing to even TLC waste the money and just not have us see it and just remove themselves from this situation. That's the smart thing to do. You know. This is, um, and it's probably best that the show is um, getting canceled uh, for the purpose of Honey Boo Boo. Because, you know, when she started on the show, she was five. And I guess, you know, it's, it's cute to be, you know, roly-poly and five and farting under your arms and all that other kind of stuff. 
But keep in mind, this young lady is nine years old now. You know, and, and trust me, I used to look like this at nine years old. It ain't pretty, kids aren't nice to you, number one. And number two, number two, that farting under the arms and everything, that's no longer cute either, or eating full butter ketchup sketty. <laughs> or even saying sketty. Uh, but this is the dark side of reality TV, you all. I think that um, reality TV's just taken like a major hit most recently, I mean, you know, Anna, everybody, says that um, she's confused as to exactly how to feel about her mother based on what has happened to Anna. Look how cute Anna is, that she's 20 years old. Yeah, I know. Well, it's a turning point in reality TV. This is the dark side. You know, Mama June doesn't understand what she's done, um, and that show is canceled. Teresa and Joe are going to jail. Tori and Dean are ridiculous. The situation has been arrested and you know, for tax fraud, so cautionary tale. Anyway, look, um, you know we'll keep following this story for you. Yeah. I can't believe science has come this far. I'll talk to you. All right, so Tiny of Tiny and T.I., Tiny and Chicana. Tiny was just here the other day. She's admitted that she got eye implants. Well, okay, let me tell you the story first, okay. <laughs> Remember, Tiny and Chicana were here earlier last week and they were promoting their cute road trip show. And so Tiny had on these cute Tom Ford glasses. And you know, I thought that she was using them as an affectation. Here she is on the show. You know, I, I didn't think that she really had prescription glasses. And yes, I did notice behind the glasses that her eyes were light blue or gray or, or something other than tiny brown, you know? And, and, and that's fine. People wear contacts all the time. Well, we get off the show, the show is over. I'm looking on my Facebook page and everybody's saying, Wendy, you know Tiny just got back from Africa. Cause I just, I said to her during the interview, I was like, welcome back, I understand you were in Africa. She said her man was over there performing and you know, she said she was over there having fun. And my Facebook people were like, no Wendy, she went to see this doctor who gives you new eyeballs the color you want. And I'm like, Facebook people, you have gone way too far. I wasn't even paying you no mind. Well, it turns out, Tiny is admitting that she permanently changed her eye color from brown to ice gray. Oh. I know! Oh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now you know I believe in changing things. If there's something about you you don't like, I, I, you know, if you wanna get your butt implant, your boobs, your liposuction, if you want, you know, a weave. But understand what I'm saying to you. This right here is going too far. Yeah. And it's almost like, and, and Tiny, Tiny, I love you a lot. I just saw your man the other day at Big Boy's radio show in, in LA. He was like, thanks for being nice to my wife and Chicana and stuff. But you know, I have to call it like I mean it here. The eyes are the window to the soul. And getting your eyes permanently done like this is to me as bad as people who bleach their skin. I mean, you can self-hate your flat boobs or you can self-hate your flat butt or you can, whatever people call, you know, self-hate, whatever. But the eyes, all right, clap if you think this is brilliant. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, I know that color contacts could be, you know, scratchy and itchy and whatnot, but people still wear them. But getting the, your eyeballs actually done like this is like, it's as, it's as crazy as Sammy Sosa bleaching his skin. Oh. Yes, this is the same person. Oh. I, um, but you know what I like about Tiny? At least she was honest about it because the internet was all a buzz. So it, 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 it makes me love her even more that she was honest about this because we could have just gone on and on and on and talked about this operation and she could have kept what we thought were gray contacts in because if, you, if I didn't tell you this story, would you ever believe you can get new eyeballs in a permanent color? Well, for a round trip ticket to Africa, apparently you can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
You know the, the black man that Kris Jenner has been dating? Remember we saw them together at Casa Vega? Um, she was eating the Mexican food with him? Uh-huh. Well, we finally know who he is. His name is Corey Gamble, and he's one of Justin Bieber's managers. Oh. He looks so sweet, I have a toothache. <laughs> Ow. SandraRose.com, uh, Sandra Rose is claiming that um, they got the exclusive interview with Corey. I actually read the interview and discovered a lot of things. Thank you, Sandra Rose. First of all, um, Chris and um, sweet Corey met um, in August at Ricardo Ticci's birthday party, or, or no, party at Ricardo Ticci's house. Now, you know, that's Kanye's special friend who <laughs> designs for Givenchy, uh-huh. Um, the relationship has been a secret since August uh, between Chris and, and Corey until Radar Online leaked the story. Thank you, Radar Online, for leaking. <laughs> I think I saw in the Sandra Rose article that Corey's in his 40s and he really does care for Kim. I mean, um, um, Chris. He really does care, he really does care for Chris. Apparently, um, uh, Kim's, Kim's birthday party was um, recently in Vegas and he was even on the private jet with the rest of the family. The man at the very, very end, at the, that's him. Look at Kim standing out amongst, with the rest. Look how she's posing. <laughs> and then the rest of the people, they're about to board the plane to go to her birthday party. Well, in the meantime, this guy, Corey though, like, I don't wanna go through the whole interview that he did with Sandra Rose, but he really talked so much that it almost made it seem like He's an opportunist, which would be perfect, I guess, for Chris since she's an opportunist. But anyway, you know the woman Rhonda who used to be Chris's assistant and her best friend, but now they're no longer best friends and she's dating Bruce? Okay, this is Rhonda. Rhonda's dating Bruce. Remember, we showed you they were at the Elton John concert. <laughs> yes, Bruce still likes girls. <laughs> Rhonda, Rhonda is 52, and she's a hot 52. Look what she posted on her Instagram. Uh huh. Well, you can see. <laughs> You can, you can see what she and Chris have in common because this is something that Chris would do, you know? I wonder if Bruce was responsible for the rose petals. It's kind of cheesy though that she's on Instagram doing this. Doesn't anybody just date anyone anymore without having to be an opportunist and put stuff on Instagram? I wonder if those are her pajamas or whether she just came in from a cocktail party <laughs> or the pool, you know? <laughs> Well, the countdown begins 70 more days before Teresa in Jersey goes to jail. Oh. Mm. And um, she and Joe, though, found some time to celebrate this past weekend uh, their, 15th wedding, wed their 15th wedding anniversary. They went to dinner. Is this a recent picture of them? Joe looks good. <laughs> I mean, Joe looks better than I've seen him look in a while. Teresa, you look good too, but your husband, you know, he was looking a bit disheveled at one point. <laughs> oh God, they're gonna love him in prison. <laughs> anyway, so they put on a brave face. They went out for dinner to celebrate their 15th wedding anniversary, but behind the scenes, they say Teresa reportedly is really starting to resent Joe. Gee, you think? She's, she's worried about his drinking because you know, you know he's had problems in the past and apparently he's doing a lot of drinking now. She's also fearing that he's not gonna take care of their daughters. Well, in watching Jersey Housewives, Joe is cute with the girls, but a lot of fathers are cute with the girls as long as it's you know, a day while mom is at the mall or 24 hours because mom went you know, to Atlantic City with her friends or something. But you know, you give a dad a good two weeks with girls and then a month, the girls are gonna be called, mom, <laughs> help. <laughs> um, here's the problem. The problem is, is that 
Joe has yet to, according to sources, learn the girls' schedules. Now, you know, all the girls are young. This one probably has cheering practice. This one over here probably takes ballet. This one over here thinks that she can sing, so they humor her, <laughs> maybe, you know, with singing classes. And then this one over here, I mean, you know, she's too young to leave alone, so she has to go everywhere with Joe, and Joe just doesn't, like a lot of you men, doesn't seem like the type that would be able to just really do it. But at least many of you put in the effort and you have your driver's license so you're able to drive around. I, um, Joe has no driver's license and the family is in a financial way so it's not like they can get a car service or hire a driver or something like that. And from what I've been reading, um, Teresa is adamant about not wanting Melissa and, and her brother Joe to be, you know, hands on like the new parents to the girls. Like, you know, Teresa wants to go to jail and know that between Teresa and Joe and the girls, the Judys are a united front, not having to call in all these people. But with Joe not helping and Joe allegedly drinking and Joe not having a driver's license, this might be a time to call Melissa and just say, can the girls stay with you until I get out of jail? <laughs> <clears throat> so, again, Teresa goes to prison in 70 days and I'm gonna keep you posted on the goings on with the family. Yeah. Let me ask you, did you watch um, the Kendra show on Friday? Clap if you watched it, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> Um, okay, so a few people in the audience watched. It comes on Fridays, everybody, um, and it's called Kendra on Top. Um, <laughs> which is better than Hank on Top. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> apparently, on Friday's episode of Kendra on Top, Kendra confronted Hank about the alleged affair with the transsexual, and she did not hold back. Just listen very closely, roll it. To the world's greatest husband and father, you. You, you transsexual mother in denial ass mother. You in denial ass mother. You're gonna believe this person over me, and I have believed in you and supported you and backed you through everything. Oh, you. Oh, you, get the out of here. You ain't wanted in this house. This is what my dad did to me. Get the out of here. To the world's greatest husband, father. You ain't no father no more, mother It's divorce time. I think that um, that for many of us, that's what we've been waiting to see from Kendra. You know, I know she's been fighting for her marriage, but there've been too many. I mean, he failed the lie detector test. Ava, the transsexual, passed the lie detector test. Uh, sometimes things happen. Uh, you know, a man gets an urge. I, you know, I don't know. All I, all I know is, is that, like I always say, she'll always have to question, um, you know, her relationship with him because. She, the, Ava has one thing that Kendra does not have, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and, and, um, and Kendra, I'm, so, I'm still like gagging. Like this is not my show to watch. I, I was busy anyway on Friday night, I forgot all about it, but this is not my show to watch because I feel like something this serious is not supposed to be played out on reality TV. And when you play stuff out, <laughs> when you, to me, Reality TV is supposed to be light and fun and sometimes ratchet, but when you play stuff out that's supposed to be so serious as, you know, the sanctity of your marriage, it makes me question how serious you are about any of it or do you enjoy the spotlight more? So after you divorce him, because I'm trusting that's what you'll do, because what you just did to him in front of all of us, that, that's a reason for divorce. Like, you ever fighting with your man and you know the one button to push, but if you push that button, it's, it's over. It's, it's not, no, it's not on and popping, it's over. Like, it's over. And you know, they know that button to push with us too. Sometimes when you're fighting with your lover, you know, there's that one button and if you push it, there's no turning back. Divorce, is, has, you've got to go through with it now. Um, the way she just talked to him, I hope she means it because if he stays at this particular point, she's gonna be giving him that, I mean, you know, so he allegedly made a mistake. 
But who deserves to be living under that tensity all the time? You know, she's gonna be giving it back to him every single fight. Every time she's, he's five minutes late after picking up milk at the store. <laughs> Where you been? Where you at? I'm like, who can live like that? Anyway, if you care to find out, Kendra on Top airs Friday nights at nine on WeTV. A mess. So, the countdown begins to my double night performance at the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm telling jokes. Well, actually, I tell stories, I don't tell jokes. You know, I take humorous, real stuff in my life, throw in some salty language and a few mm hmm <laughs> And there you have it. So it, it's more like story time with me. Now my Lunell, who's my comedy coach, Lunell is funny as hell. And Lunell is sharing the stage with me. She's gonna do a set and then I'm gonna do a set and we're both in Vegas this Friday, Halloween, booga -da booga -da booga night, <laughs> I know. Halloween is crazy in Vegas, so I'm really looking forward to it. And then the next day is Saturday, um, November 1st, and we've got a second night at the Venetian. If you care to join us, then just go to wendyshow.com to get your tickets and see you in Vegas. Our Hot Topics Hour continues, everybody. Hey, Real Life Hot Topic, Gina Neely is here. I was so shocked to find out about her, her pending divorce from her husband, Pat. So we're gonna talk about that, She's gonna cook up something in the Wendy kitchen. Plus, we're giving away our first trip to the Soul Train Awards in Las Vegas. But up next, is Tori Spelling having a nervous breakdown? Gee, I wonder. The inside scoop is next. Don't go far. On an all new Wendy, today's headlines are H-O-T. That's what I'm here for, to fill you in. Plus, October makeover that reminds us what it's all about. Fatima, how do you feel? Breast cancer just messed with the wrong girl. Okay. Tomorrow on an all new Wendy. Here with the juicy celebrity stories from Huff Post Live. Say hello to Caitlin Becker. Yeah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. So let's talk about Tori Spelling. Is she having a nervous breakdown? Tori is having the time of it right now. It's not good to be Tori Spelling. She people think she's having a bit of a nervous breakdown. Things are not good at home. Her relationship with Dean has been on the rocks for some time now. It has not been good since last year's cheating episode. Um, there have been reports out recently that they had a giant fight over hiring a potential new nanny that Dean wanted. Tori thought would put the kids at risk, so there was a big fight. Yes, big fight. But apparently, Tori is telling people that Dean isn't going to his AA meetings. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Not good. So let's talk about this, uh, this picture that she posted in the hospital. The picture, okay, so Tori, Tori's in the hospital. She checked herself into the hospital. She looks good, by the way. <laughs> And she apparently was actually sick. We don't know if she actually made herself sick or if she was, it was a cry for help, but she posted this photo and she has the quote here. This sick in hospital, I finally see how quickly life can take it all away from you. Sadly, I finally faced truth that one person will never be there for me. Hashtag true Tory. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Hashtag, hashtag, hashtag true, true Tory. Tory. You see what I'm saying? Like these people, you play around with divorce, you play around with your marriages, you play around with your health. Have you no soul, Tory? Well, also no shame. She's shamelessly promoting her show. Oh no, watch, the look at the one, other yeah. picture. Look at the other picture. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So it's all, it's a little suspect because the show premiered around when she checked herself in, but a lot of people are trying to read into the, the... Who is the one person? Yes, who is I, the one person. I think person. it's Candy Spelling because I was reading that Candy is now um, acting as a mother to Tatum O'Neill. Yes. And that Candy and Tatum O'Neill showed up like daughter and, and mother at Stella, that's Tori and Dean's daughter. 
showed up at Stella's birthday party and weren't very social with everybody, but sat on the couch in a corner, kiki and like mother daughter, oh. while Tori's trying to play happy and Dean's trying to play happy. I think that it's I think that it's uh, Candy Spelling she's talking about. And of course, they've had a very very strained relationship their entire lives. It has not been easy between Candy and Tori. We've seen some back and forth between things were really good, things were really bad. Now yeah. this Tatum O'Neill stuff came out, and apparently. Can you imagine <laughs> if your mother took on a seg surrogate daughter? Mom, she's watching right now. Don't, she even, loves don't me. even try it. Not gonna happen. She's tried before, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an old so, child. So, though. what's Dean saying about all this? Well, Dean, in true um, Dean and Tori fashion, is actually opening up to the press and talking about this while Tori is in the hospital. And he talked to Entertainment Tonight in Canada, and we have a clip. So, let's take a look. I'm human, you know. I'm not the I'm not the first person to ever um, cheat on his wife. I won't be the last. Um, I'm human, you know. I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. My life and how I was feeling about myself was in a really bad place, you know. the 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 affair was more about how I was feeling about myself than having an affair. Mm -hmm. Well, so what, now what's he promoting that's so important if his wife is allegedly cracking up back in L.A. and in the hospital? Well, he's the host of Chopped Canada. Oh, that's right. He does have a Let's job. Not forget. Damn. <laughs> well, no, that, then it's important that he's there then because it's bringing in revenue for the family. Oh, it's a mess. Let's move on to uh, Joan and Melissa Rivers. So Melissa is getting a big inheritance. Melissa is getting almost $100 million worth of Joan Rivers' oh. estate. Yes. 70, about 75 million in cash, and then of course her 35 million dollar um, condo on the Upper East Side, Jones. Gorgeous, that's, gorgeous. That's apartment. not a condo, honey. That is a, a, a that castle. Is a, a castle. Yeah. Um, anyway, so. Um, I hear that Melissa is suing the doctors involved. She hasn't officially filed suit yet, but it, from what I understand, the only way for Melissa to really find out what happened to Joan mm -hmm. is to file suit because during the discovery process, the, all the doctors and all the people that worked with Joan will have to sit down for depositions, and that is the only way she's going to get any actual answers. It, it, you know what? Nobody knows what they would do in that in that case. I, you know, if the, the longer the suit goes on, the more there's no, not closure for Cooper and Melissa. Um, Cooper's uh, Joan's grandson. Oh, it's a mess. You know what I would do? I would have the lawyers handle it and then slip me a note under the door with the final results and not call me to bother me in between. You know what I mean? And give the lawyers a budget, you know, and tell them to handle it. She's got the money for it now. Well, look, I just want to I just want to quickly show this picture of Joan. Because this is a picture of Joan. We've never seen Joan like this. That is Joan with her now. He's 14 years old, but with her grandson Cooper. We How never see Joan. Her arms? How about look? She never shows her arms. She never shows her, her arms. arms. She never shows her butt, and we've never seen her in jeans. Caitlin, thank you so much for bringing thank us these. Thank you treats. so much for having me. For more information on these stories, go to HuffPost Live. Up next, everybody, audience members, sound off on hot topics. Don't miss it. Sound off on hot topics. Right, everybody have a seat except for you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Wendy. My name is Brianna. How you doing? Hi, Brianna. How you doing? I need to sound off on Tiny. I think that it's completely unsafe. It hasn't been tested. They couldn't even get the iPhone 4, I mean, I'm sorry, the iPhone 6 right without it bending in half. So how, how you are you going to get the eyeballs your right? Eyes, like, it doesn't make any sense. I think she, it's a cry for attention. There's a lot of stuff going on with her and T.I. I just, I don't think it's safe. How do you feel about it? Um, I, I, this is the worst idea ever to mess with your eyes. I think so. Yeah, it's the worst idea ever. I agree. Yeah. Thank you, Brianna. No Next comment. Gina, and I need to sound off on Chris Jenner. Okay. I think he might be an opportunist, but she's an even bigger opportunist. Oh, yeah. I think that since he's linked to Justin Bieber, uh -huh. I can picture him, Justin Bieber, on her reality show next season. Bruce is out. Bring somebody even bigger in. Keep the ratings going. Yes. So that's why I think that this might be a bigger opportunity yeah. for her. What yeah. do you think? I think I've always said the woman is a walking devil. She is. She's so <laughs> mommy dearest. Yes, mommy, mommy dearest. dearest. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? I'm Rocky, and I want to sound off about Mama June. Okay. I agree with everything we just talked about earlier. Um, I feel like we don't really know what's going on, right. but after some of those details that you just unveiled on us, yes. there's definitely something fishy happening. Yes. And I agree that TLC did the right thing. By canceling Clean the show. Clean break. Just get out of there. But what I hope for is that Mama June and the girls get 
protection or help, so there's no victimization anymore. And stay off reality TV. Stay off! Yes, absolutely. Thank you, Rocky. Up next, everybody, we're in the Wendy Kitchen with Real Life Hot Topic, Gina Neely. Don't go far. All new, sexy, talented, and a superstar wife. Life must be rough for Mark Consuelos. We're finding out. And In Touch brings an inside celebrity scoop. Plus, we're putting the treat into Halloween snacks. Some for the kids and some for me. <laughs> Wednesday on an all-new Wendy. Our lives are very busy. It's always nice to have something quick and delicious for dinner. Here with the recipe, the whole family will enjoy. Please say hello to celebrity chef Gina Neely. Yeah. Hey. In case you didn't recognize her, this is Gina Neely. Gina's lost like 25 pounds. You look terrific. Come over here. I want, I want everybody, I want, I want everybody to see. I know. Easily, love it. Easily a size. Zero you are. I am a zero. Good guess. Now, now I know you're like 49, 50 years old. You look I'm hot. 49. You look hot, woman. Thank you. And it ought to be illegal to be so happy looking when you're going through such a, a sad situation, a divorce. Life happens, honey. What are you going to do? Crying a bowl of milk? Well, you know what? We were shocked, and I even said it here, because, you know, you and Pat, when you do the cooking show, you all always like, hey, baby, you come know on, sugar. I know, uh -huh. give me some of that loving and all that. Yeah. You know what? But at the end of the day, Pat and I are like real people. Life happens. I mean, we, we still have the same. I have dinner with Pat Friday. We're still good friends. Okay. But it just happened. But you don't stop living because bad things happen. You keep going. Well, they... You moved out like two years ago? Yep. Because we were trying to work on it and just trying to do some things differently, but you know, it just ended up that way. Yeah. Yeah. How are your girls? The girls are great. 19 and 25. Yeah. One in college, one's working for Verizon, doing her own thing. Uh -huh. I mean, I did family counseling, wanted everybody to be good. Yes. We're all in a good place. And at the end of the day, that's what was important so, to me. Now, what's going to happen with you all's businesses? Because you and Pat um, were married for 20 years. 23. 23 years. What's going to happen with the restaurants and your mer merchandising and uh, stuff? Business is business. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. Well, business is business, baby. Okay. Let's be clear about that. Well, will we see Gina Neely t uh, cooking on the uh, on TV well, by yourself? Well, I actually had a production company, so we need to talk and dish the tea a little later about some little cooking show. We can oh, do that. Oh, okay. Let's get started. Let's Pot get started. pie. Yes. It's such, yes. a, such a staple. Let me tell you, in Green, it is so amazing for me to partner with Green Giant because to me, it's all about healthy, nutritious meals. Yes. And Green Giant knows that women are busy. You're busy. Yes. You're doing the Soul Train Awards. You got all this stuff going on. But how can we get vegetables incorporated into our meals. So Green John has like spices and different blends. We're gonna do the comfort food that America loves, chicken pot pie. Okay, so now we're starting with um, chicken breasts that we make ourselves. Well, you can have leftover chicken breasts. Leftover chicken. You can go to the grocery store and get a rotisserie chicken. Yes. You can take the Pillsbury Grants biscuit, put them right in the muffin tin, brush it with a little olive oil. What is this? That's just a little chicken broth just to add flavor. Okay. So uh -huh. it'll be so set. And then you put it in the muffin tin. This is a good idea. I know, because you got broccoli, you got carrots, you got cauliflower, and you got cheese. All the spices all there for you. No stress, no worry. Cook, have that glass of wine, honey, and get to cook. Yes. So. Perfect. You know, all Yes. How about that? So you put that in. So basically, you put add the chicken in. First. And you can put as much chicken as you want as, in well, there. Now we want to keep the cup full. We don't overrun it. No, no, no. But I'm just saying, you know, make sure to get the vegetables. You can put in. yes. You can put turkey. Yes. Whatever's your favorite. And I like how um the cheese gun it binds it all together. It you does. Know, Chicken pot pie is such a comfort food. Oh, my we very God. very rarely make it. This it's is winter easy. Winter time is getting cold. Yes. You want to feel good about it. Look at that. Now, how long do you put this in the oven? In the oven, 375 degrees, 15 okay. minutes. Let's go. Now, this is TV cooking, honey. You know, TV cooking, this will take five minutes. There you go. <laughs> Woo! Mm. Sprinkle on some Parmesan cheese. That's a good one. Green Giant has so many varieties you can do. Mediterranean blend. I mean, it is cheesy rice, broccoli, quick, good to go. You didn't put your hot sauce on it. What's I, up with that? No, you, you were down there while I was doing it. Ah. <laughs> yeah, sister girl got me on there. You like? Mm. Is it not good? Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> and I know. I love it. You know what? Here's the thing. It, mothers have so 
much to worry about. We're we wear busy. so many hats, but we still want to have a good, nutritious meal for our family. And, and that's what it's all about. And I'm the Pillsbury is, is nice and soft. It's not it hard. Is. Isn't that good? Gina, thank you so much for stopping thank by. Thank you for having me. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Thank you. For this recipe, go to wendyshow.com. Okay? Okay, good. Up next, it's time for our Soul Train Awards trip giveaway. Don't miss it. <laughs> There's so much more of The Wendy Show at wendyshow.com. Watch must-see moments, catch my after show, and enter for your chance to win some amazing free stuff. Check out wendyshow.com today. Welcome back. As you know, next month I am hosting the Soul Train Awards in Las Vegas, and I am so excited. And all week long, we're giving away lucky trips or lucky, we're giving away trips to lucky audience members here at our Wendy show to attend the Soul Train Awards out in Vegas. <laughs> on our scramble award is the name of, on our scramble board is the name of a Soul Train Award nominee and someone from our studio audience has to unscramble it. I've got the name right here. Drum roll, please. <laughs> All right, Lenise, um, how you doing? How you doing? Where are you from? Harlem, New York. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, Lenise, you're gonna have 30 seconds on the clock to unscramble the name of this nominee. 30 seconds and go! Can I have audience help? Um, no, don't help! Don't <laughs> Do you want me to give you a hint? Yes, give me a hint. <laughs> this person has a little brother named Nixon. Oh. What? are heading to Las Vegas yeah. for the Soul Train Awards. Yeah. And for you Wendy watchers at home, all you've got to do is log on to my Facebook page for your chance to win at home. The Soul Train Awards premiere on Centric and BET Sunday, November 30th. We'll be right back. Yeah. Thank you. Say hello to Vera from Philadelphia, everybody. It's time for Pop Quiz. I hope you're paying attention in Hot Topics. How you doing? How you doing, Vera? <laughs> All right, don't, don't help Vera. Vera, what anniversary did Joe and Teresa Giudice in Jersey just celebrate? 10, 15, or 20 years? Easy, Wendy. 15 years. Yay! Congratulations, Vera! <laughs> we're, we're sending you out for Mexican. Oh, arriba, no. arriba is the name of the place. They got good food. Thank you. We'll be right back. Mind you that I am hosting the How You Laughing comedy show. <laughs> it's November 15th over in New Jersey at NJ Pack. That's in Newark. You can get your tickets by going to wendyshow.com. I want to thank today's guest and my co host, my fabulous studio audience. Thank you so much for watching. Um, tomorrow, the very funny Mario Cantone. I love you for watching. And I'll see you next time on Wendy. Bye.